Alright, back again Luke here. And today what I thought we could do is go over an arcade PCB that isn't covered at all and uh, give you guys some tips and some ideas on where to find the pinouts for one of these rare obscure arcade PCBs. The one in question here is none other than Taito's Operation Tiger. Now, as you can see here, this is the uh, the main PCB. It runs off of the Taito Power JC uh, hardware, which is a really limited uh, hardware. I believe this is the only game that was made for it. But you can see there are two amps here for the sound, and it has a top board, which is the CPU, I believe, and then the bottom board, which is the graphics, or the video PCB down here. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I, when I got this board, I had no idea on how to hook it up or the wiring or anything because there are no manuals or anything online. And in fact, I came across a couple of sites. One was from 2011 uh, asking questions about where to find the pinouts. And then one more recently I saw that was on Twitter. Someone was asking about the, uh, the wiring or talking about having the board but not knowing what the wiring was. So I decided to take it upon myself to to try and pinpoint or hunt down some of these points here on the PCB itself and hopefully be able to help someone out who wants to get theirs running because like I said there's nothing on the internet when I say nothing I mean like nothing <laughs> I don't think there's any videos on it except for maybe a video of um, maybe one board running but other than that, there's nothing as far as like the wiring or anything to that extent. So it's a bit crude here. It's going to be a little bit uh, off the cuff as usual. But what I've done is unfortunately I didn't have a connector down here. And I did a lot of this pinout hunting using my probe. Try and find data lines and try and find uh, anything that was running high or low uh, ground points, etc. And I also used my... Uh, uh, multimeter to try and figure out some of these test points. One thing about this, this is the front piece. If you have the full PCB here, you can see this is the filter board that's on it. What I wanted to do is go over the pinpoints, not only with the filter board, but if you didn't have the filter board where you could find the pinouts. So it may be a little bit messy here and I've put all these labels on it. So bear with me a little bit. <laughs> well, hopefully this video helps a bit. Uh, I already did post something on the arcade project forums uh, about this but I know some people can't log into that and uh, some people just prefer YouTube so figured might as well just put this up there uh, one thing off the bat here you'll see there are some test points which was really helpful in trying to figure out what the power connectors were for this you can see here's a test point for 12 13 volts and I believe the 13 volts goes to these two amplifiers because I think they need 13 volts or higher uh, 13 to 20 or 24 or so in order to turn the amps on I haven't been able to wire up sound yet so it's something I'll have to do in the future as well as the plus 5 volts and the ground running all those down here you'll see the kind of mess that I have but uh, the way this works you'll see this is pin 9 and this is pin 1 over here and uh, pin 1 is going to be 12 volts then 13 volts you'll run uh, three power lines here for plus five and then the last four will be ground they're all connected together so you can just find a couple of points there to plug in what I've done is I've wired in a, uh, a JAMA connector here just to do the testing for it but I should mention at the beginning of this video this is more of like a technical video so it might not be for everyone but like I said there's no information about this board out there so if this can help at least one person uh, you know I'm, I'm glad to make this video because I know it was frustrating to try and figure this out on my own but like I mentioned here, this is the filter board. So if someone doesn't have the filter board, you can find these same power connectors here on this top part. There are two rows of pins. There's the top board and then there's the bottom board. And for these two pins on the far left, this will be like 31 and 32. These will be plus 12 and then 33, 34. This will be 13, 35, 36, 37 will be plus five. Over here, you're gonna find your sink, your blue, red green and it's going to be connected here since sync has uh or ground sorry uh on this point here there are two ground pins so it's ground ground and then it goes sync blue red green uh on this video connector my video connector is a little bit crude here too uh you can get the ground points you'll see i've noticed uh, or i've uh put these down here as just a couple of helpers but it's ground ground sync blue red green those are all connected to these pins here and you can see this is the numbering it goes this way so I'll also put in the uh, description 
the actual pinouts so you guys won't have to be looking at this the whole time. Uh, I should make it a little bit easier for you guys to read, hopefully. And all these top ones from, uh, what is it, 33 to 64, these are all ground. So you can tap your ground from there. Going down here to the C connector, um, the S connector here, I believe this is a subboard, and it's used for the guns, maybe used for, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe vibration or something like that. I haven't figured out the guns yet, so I'm kind of still only partially done with this. But um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done anything with that. The C connector down here, you'll notice there are these uh, four pins. These are in the middle row. And it goes one, two, three. There's three rows here, and those will be your 12 volts. We've got uh, a plethora of ground points. There are other places on here that have 12 volt rails as well as uh, ground points, etc. But hopefully these ones will help out a little bit. The ones here in the middle, this is the first row. You'll find that these four pins here are your plus five volts. In the middle up here, we've got a cancel or back button. I, to be honest, I'm not really exactly sure the correct uh, technical term for it. It could even be a shoot button. Um, but up here in the middle, it's pin 56. It goes through this 56 uh, pin right here. This is the middle row. That's your cancel or back when you go into the test mode. And then 57 here is your select or uh, it's also maybe your... Uh, what is it? Select, maybe shoot. I'm, oh, once again, not sure on that, but that's pin 57. Uh, there's a test pin here, and this is, I believe, pin, was it 91? I didn't label it here, but there's a test pin here, and we've got uh, player one start, which goes to this pin, and uh, the coin in, which is the second pin from the right on this bottom row. This kind of go down, goes down here to uh, these pins. Once again, this is the uh, board here where you can kind of clip in most of the, uh, I'm assuming maybe some of the gun and uh, the trigger points, test points. Uh, the main parts down here will be where you can connect those. But we've got ground points here on the uh, far right four pins. And then we've got uh, one, two, and then we've got a third pin down here. Those are your plus fives. We've got 12 volts, which is next to that one. We've got a 12 one. They're kind of like uh, on a diagonal. And we've got an unused pin, then our player to start, unused pin, and test pin along this bottom row. And the top one here is the back or select, player one, coin in, plus 12, and two plus fives, etc. But uh, there are a few things that are still wrong with this board. Like I said, I don't have the volume uh, connected. I don't have the speakers connected for it because I'm not sure if I can actually run the plus 12 to the plus 13 and have it work. I think I've had other boards where plus 12 isn't enough, so it might need another voltage regulator or some kind of like power supply in order to get the 13 volts to run the amps. I haven't tested that yet. Plus, I still need to find the uh, the audio outs. And I don't know what the analog gun controls are. I have gone over some of these pins, and the pins in between that weren't used were reading at like a, a solid 4.3538 volts. But um, yeah, I still need to, to see if I can find the analog controls for these so I can find the guns. The guns are positioned analog uh, Y and X, so. But this will be enough to get the board up and running. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> I apologize for this video, but hopefully it's a little bit more than uh, than zero as far as information goes out there. And then uh, you can run, if you have the filter board, you can just run this through here. Uh, connect that through your RGB sync on your JAMA connector. And uh, you should be able to start it up. One thing about this board is it does have some graphic glitches. Uh, pretty big ones, in fact. And what I've kind of traced those down to are these top four RAM chips. Uh, I've replaced two of these. Uh, on, I think it was IC45 and 46. I replaced these two. But uh, I realized really quick that um, even though I didn't apply that much heat, I was starting to remove the laminate from the uh, PCB itself, so we've got some discoloration underneath there, and that was one thing I didn't want. But I still need to try and remove these two. At the beginning, there were lines in the graphics, and maybe I can put in a couple of pictures to show you guys, maybe here.
and then there were a couple of other ones. Maybe um, I might have a couple other pictures. We'll try and see if I can put those in. But uh, I've gotten some of the background graphics in, but some of the regular graphics are still missing with the character sprites. The colors are a little bit off on the character sprites, but they're on in different areas, which I originally thought might have been a uh, problem with the RGB connector. But in fact, I think it's just with the character sprites. So I need to go over that and see what's up. But what I'll do here is I'll probably just hook this thing up and I'll, I'll try and start it up and show you guys what this is doing. A couple more points to share with you is that this will not work with a regular standard uh, CGA to VGA converter. It doesn't sync properly. Uh, if you try and use a, an S-Video connector like through a super gun, uh, unless you're using a CRT monitor or a tri-sync monitor, it's not going to sync properly. The screen will just flash. If you use it on a uh, with, with a, um, an S-Video cable, you'll probably just get white lines that go across it. And it looks similar to if you're trying to display uh, an image on a 24 kilohertz monitor that's not a 24 kilohertz monitor. So if it's in 31, you'll see the white lines. I tried a 24 kilohertz monitor and it didn't change anything. In fact, it wouldn't sync as well. So the only thing I could find was a tri-sync uh, old CRT that I used for my other shooting games that was able to display the image properly. So I'll go ahead and I'll fire that thing up and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. That way you guys can see that the board does work with these current pinouts. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and jump to that and I'll show you what it's like. Okay guys, so I've got this thing wired up. It's a little bit dark in here because I'm trying to make sure that the monitor will pick this up correctly. But we'll go ahead and flip the switch on this and show you what it's doing. Actually, I've connected a little bit of a fan here uh, in order to try and keep this thing cool. I think the fan was originally uh, on top of the PCB. So let me see if I can get this to sit on here somewhere properly. Maybe that's not going to work so well. Hopefully that'll work out. We'll go ahead and check it out. But um, just to keep the top part cool. So let's hit the JAMA. We'll hit the monitor here. This is going to take a second to turn on. Hopefully this will come on. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, this thing is flaring out like crazy. Okay, there we go. So you guys couldn't see the boot at the beginning, but you can see that it is playing here. The flashing is going to be from the CRT monitor, but you guys can see the graphic glitches that are in this right now. These are directly related to the RAM, what I believe, and the colors are off here. But the board does play, and um, you know, for the most part, you can put in coins and you can hit the start button. You can see it actually start up, but it's still in a, a bit of disrepair here. You see the background graphics are missing and the, uh, the textures here are a little bit off. The colors are a little bit off, but it is displaying the correct colors. You can see that there's red in there. In some cases, there's the, uh, the blue and green, but the character sprites and the, uh, the background here is a bit off. But for those of you who are a bit affected by strobe light flashes and whatnot, this may be a bit tricky to uh, to stay focused on. But you can see that the sky is is off here, and uh, some other background issues. But it is playing, so. You know, going by the pinouts that I have on this board, you can see there, there's Operation Tiger. The pinouts that I've done so far, I've been able to get the image at least somewhat correct. You can see these are the correct colors down here. There's the red. We have red, green, blue, yellow. Everything is correct, but it's all purple in the background and missing some textures and colors. But yeah, guys, just wanted to share a little bit of a look with you. Uh, well, a little bit of a look at the... Uh, the board and its uh, pinouts and it's well in action <laughs> somewhat uh, and hopefully be able to help out some of those out some of those guys out there uh, who may have a similar board trying to get it to run and coming up with absolutely nothing uh, maybe a bit of a request but if anybody out there has a an arcade 
operator's manual and they are willing to upload the schematics, especially the pinouts for the uh, controls. That would be awesome. I think it would just help out just a little bit more and it would be able to hopefully save some of these precious arcade boards that have been kind of long forgotten and uh, put them back out there play just a little bit longer but uh, yeah that's about all for me for right now like always I'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching watching some glitchy Operation Tiger here <laughs> Really hope I can get this thing up and running sometime soon, but time will tell. It does look kind of cool in a bit of an artistic way. It's just really trippy in some parts. You're like, wow, that's a really odd color combination. There's a part here towards the end where the female character looks like a zombie. It looks like half dead, you know. <laughs> These characters are pretty cool looking. I think it's, yeah, coming soon. I, this is pretty trippy, but... <laughs> I think our little character will appear up here coming soon. Maybe in the in the corner around here. Just kind of peek out and she'll look like a, a zombie. There she is. <laughs> a little bit of a zombie there. But yeah, guys, once again, uh, I'll try and get out another video here soon. But thanks for watching.